It's a really exciting episode of The Science Inside this week as the Wits Radio Academy covers Wits University's extraordinary discovery, and that's the discovery of Homo naledi. I'm joined on the line by the Radio Academy's Elna Schutz, and she's going to take us through what happens in this week's show. Elna, I was absolutely captivated by the discovery, or rather the announcement of the discovery of Homo naledi. I'm sure your team was too. Yes, we were all really excited, I think, especially because we are at WITS and it's our researchers. So there's a little bit of pride that goes into it. I have to say but I'm a WITS alum, so really proud too. So why don't you introduce us to what you discussed, or what you investigated in this week's episode? Sure. So for those people that are living under a rock and maybe haven't followed everything around this, we just started with a nice introduction exactly about why hormonality is so important and uh, what exactly it is. So we just have a little clip from Lee Berger, uh, the professor who's behind all of this, to, to catch you up on that. And then we talk to Rick Hunter, who is one of the people on the team that was more involved in the actual cave exploring. So we find out a little bit about what it was like to go into the cave to find the fossils. I think that those, that team of, of explorers were absolutely extraordinary. Uh, weren't they called underground astronauts? It's such a great term. I really <laughs> love it. And they had to go quite far into quite crazy lengths to, to find the fossils. So and, it's quite exciting. And through absolutely tiny spaces too, as I understand it. Yeah, they had to be, they were chosen very much for their build, partly. Uh, that's why there's so many ladies on the team, just because the smaller you are, the easier it is to get in there. And of course, uh, Humana lady as a species was relatively short and small, so it was easier for, for them to get in there. What else did you investigate this week? So then we went to a different kind of fossil, and I got very excited this week. The nerd in me uh, had a field day. I went down to the Evolutionary Studies Institute here at WITS and found out how far we are in terms of dinosaurs. And I don't know about you, but for me, dinosaurs are, are this, uh, this concept that you know they existed, but it's kind of difficult to think of them as a realistic uh, species or life form. So it was amazing for me to be able to hold a dinosaur fossil and look at all of these dinosaurs that were found in South Africa. And actually, South Africa is quite, quite a, a treasure trove of dinosaur fossils. So you'll hear my interview with Dr. Jonas Schwanier about where we are in terms of dinosaurs and what kind of new species they're finding, and you hear a bit about the process that they go through to find those fossils. So it's very, very exciting. What else can listeners expect on this week's episode? Uh, lastly on the show, we uh, spoke to a paleontologist just to answer some of those questions that you might have around what exactly is the species and how do you decide that you found a new one and how do you date fossils exactly how do you know how old they are how accurate is that so we uh, followed up on some of those questions and then we had some students in studio to do a little bit of a debate around evolution because Herman and Lady brings up a lot of those discussion topics it certainly does. So we're going to link to the full episode of this week's episode of The Science Inside below this video. But if our viewers want to interact with the team on Facebook or on social networks, how can they do that? The easiest place to find everything you want to know is The Science Inside on Facebook. You'll find all our podcasts, the link to everything else. But we are also on Twitter and uh, journalism.coza. Google us. It's easy enough. Alma, thanks so much, and we'll chat again soon. Sure. Goodbye.